Two men are seen ramming their car in the front of this store, and now Escondido police are hoping someone knows who did this. At 1.38 early Wednesday morning, a white Volkswagen SUV can be seen on this surveillance video sitting in front of the jewelry and repair center on Mission Avenue. Then the car suddenly speeds up, crashing through the glass door and windows. The suspects jumped out of the car, um, well, back the car back out and then um, entered into the jewelry store on foot. And one subject had a uh, ax in his hand or a hatchet and then used that to uh, defeat the uh, the display cases and they were able to make off with some uh, jewelry and some cash. Detectives believe the SUV used in the burglary was stolen from Oceanside two days before this incident. They described the two suspects as Hispanic males and both wore masks to conceal their identities. We are requesting um, the public to take a look at the, the video and if they can identify, you know, by, you know, if they know the, the people, clothing, whatnot, uh, mannerisms, uh, method of the of the crime, if they could report that to um, our agency, we'd really appreciate it. The Jewelry and Repair Center is a family-run business, and they say they've been in the jewelry industry for two generations. Rosa Macedo, a family member who didn't want to be on camera, says seeing the damage to the store was heartbreaking. You just can't put together how somebody can actually do something like this. Macedo says they've operated at this location for about a year and other businesses in the area have tried to comfort and help them in any way they could. The owner of the building came over and right away sent people over to help clean up and, you know, help um, repair at least some of the damage. So I think it's a perfect example of the community coming together to help. It's too soon to know just how much the damages will cost in this incident, but they say they are ready to open as soon as possible. If you have any information about this incident, you can go to CBS8.com and click the link for this story.